It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Alpha Cat Zingano and Juliana Pena. A grappler at her core, but with power for days. Here is the mean, nasty Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Pena. She is a no-nonsense fighter who became the first woman to win the Ultimate Fighter back in 2013. Dealt with a devastating knee injury, but when she returned, she did so with guns blazing and immediately vaulted into bantamweight title contention, Juliana Pena, chasing down UFC glory and looking to pick up where she left off tonight. So here is the former UFC Women's Bantamweight title challenger, Alpha Cat Zingano, training under the outstanding Eric Del Fierro at Alliance MMA there in Southern California. Big spot for Cat Zingano here tonight. Finally healthy, able to make the walk once again. No denying just how devastating a fighter this is when she is on. We'll see if Cat Zingano is on tonight. Cat Zingano has determination, heart, will, and some devastating knees and elbows to go along with it. Her striking is amongst the best in the world at 135 pounds. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Pena is 28, Zingano is 35. Pena will have a one inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Spokane, Washington, Juliana, the Venezuelan Vixen Pena! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 10 wins, four losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Alpha Cat! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Here we go. So here's the Venezuelan Vixen, the UFC women's bantamweight contender, Juliana Pena, figures to have the wrestling and grappling advantage here tonight. Her great jiu-jitsu coach, Luis Claudio, is in the building tonight. How does Pena attempt to handle this challenge tonight? We shall see. Zingano gets touched by that kick there. All right, first round is underway now, and you gotta watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. First takedown attempt. A little bit uneventful. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Changes her stance. Nice straight there by Zingano. Oh, this could be it right here. Take down attempt there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Good control here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. 
trying to pass here. Moves to north-south. Oh, going for a choke here, Joe. This could be dangerous. She's got that choke locked in tight. She's still working this choke. It's getting tighter. She might be forced to tap. That's it. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory. Yeah, great stuff by her there, and you've got to admire her focus. You could tell that she was definitely in pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but it didn't come. She didn't want to rush it. She continued to let her skills take over, and then the submission does materialize almost organically near the end of the round. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. We go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Alpha Katsikano! So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I gotta keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them.